New this morning, 40 years ago, this coming Tuesday marks the beginning of the end of the steel dominating the Youngstown area's economy. On September 19, 1977, it was announced that the first of the area's large mills was closing. First News has put together a series of reports remembering the moment and what followed. First News anchor Stan Boney begins with that day that not long afterwards would be known as Black Monday. Monday, September 19, 1977, began in the Boardman offices of Youngstown Sheet and Tube with the announcement that the company's Camel Works, one of the Youngstown district's largest steel mills, would be shut down by Friday. This action relates to our need to generate cash. And with the Carter administration. Also present at the announcement was then Youngstown Mayor Jack Hunter. This part of his statement would be aired repeatedly for years to come. Ladies and gentlemen, the news we've received this morning from Youngstown Sheet and Tube is just the worst possible news that we as your elected public officials could have received. By afternoon, the Vindicator's banner headline told of Sheet and Tube's plans to move its operations to Indiana and that closing the Camel Works would mean the loss of 5,000 jobs. This was the view that day of the Camel Works from atop Walton Street in Struthers, across the street from a mill bar known as the Bloom Butt Inn. Oh, I just sit tight for a while. You hear all the rumors coming around and you still can't believe it. Now that it's here, they shove it down your throat. You just start to accept. It's going to turn Youngstown into a ghost town. But basically, it fell to the valley to solve its own problems. What followed Black Monday were protests, petitions, and committees, all trying to get something done. And nothing much positive was being done. Then a group called the Ecumenical Coalition was formed to buy the Camel Works. Camel Works can be acquired, put back into operation, and we think ultimately turn a profit. But it never reopened. Two years later, in 1979, U.S. Steel closed the Ohio Works. Then Briar Hill went down. In 1984, Republic was done, and Youngstown's era of big steel was over. Today, the view from Walton Street is much different. There are no longer smokestacks, and much of it is covered by vegetation. The Bloom Butt Inn is long gone, but the building remains. Some of the Camel Works has been torn down, but some of it, too, is still around, part of what's now called the Casey Industrial Park. A view from the side still shows there is some type of manufacturing going on inside. Stan Boney, WKBN 27 First News.